Hi everyone, Chris Yoke of Yoke Pin Company. Um, I'm going to be doing a demonstration of my um, new 3D printed pins and um, how they look or held in your hand, etc. Um, so we're going to do one at a time in no specific order. I'm just going to grab one. We're starting with the Strom replica and it was 3D scanned off of this pin right here. Adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, this is the original pin that it came from. Let me open it up here. Okay, and as you can see, it is an exact replica of it. It is a 3D scan of this pin holder and um, exactly the same. So with this one, um, it can be made in a right or a left hand. Um, my first initial batch will all be right hand just because left hands don't sell very often. But um, I can do this one as a left hand as well. So it can be something if you email and discuss it with me. All right, so the grip of this pen, as you can see, I'm just gonna hold each one in my hand. And you can write with knuckles up, place your finger on top of the flange, no problem. You can also write over on the side of your hand because it allows you to twist it a little bit and be okay. Um, so this would be good for about anyone. And you can see how it just kind of, your thumb lays in it, your index finger goes around that hump, and it lays comfortably in the hand. So that one is the Strom. Um, so there's number one. All right, set that off to the side. Next. We're going to do the Ransom Marion. A little bit of a glare here, but Ransom Marion, which is a replica of this pen. Get it out. Now the Ransom Marion is a triangular pen, but it's more than just triangular. Um, if you look, it's easier to see because of the material on this one. This surface is um, concave. The thumb surface is actually convex and the other surface is flat um, so when it is held it's going to force your hand to hold it in one position pretty much so we'll get a nib stuck in it here and let you see your finger your index finger rests in the concave portion your thumb is against the convex surface and your uh, middle finger is flat against there and again, it could be used in traditional knuckles up writing, in between, and a little bit on the side. If you get too far on the side, it's going to get, you know, a little bit crazy, but it should be, you just have to do some adjustment. And it, if you write on the side of your hand, it would work as well. So this is the Ransom Marion replica. And again, there's a 3D scan of this exact pen. And I'm printed. Um, right now, the color I'm doing it in the, is that like a on all of these is a kind of a smoky black. Um, it's a little bit transparent. This is the best I've found that prints so far. So there may be other colors in the future, or ideally, I would have wished this to be black. But it's the best material I've found so far. Okay, so that's the Ransom Marion. Next. We will do a Geimer. Oh, and the Ransom Marion is not available at this, will not be available at this point as a left hand. I'm going to work on mirroring that image and getting the ability to print it as a three as 3D left-handed, but not yet. Okay, next is a Geimer, and it was taken from this pen. Now, the one thing I did do was shorten it to a more sensible length, because this is like 11 inches, I believe, 12 inches somewhere in there. So what I did when I had these, this one scanned is I had them cut the tail off. Um, it's identical except for just this section at the end of the pen is gone. So you now this one again can be made as a left hand because it's identical in size or in shape. So this is one you can order as left. All right, and as you see, your thumb rests in that little spot right there your middle finger goes in that other groove there and your index goes on top and again that's one that you can do knuckles up okay and it is 
possible to write if you write on the side of your hand or anywhere in between. Um, that's one thing with all ergonomic pens, Dave. You've got to take into account how it's going to force you to hold your pen if it does at all. And this is one that does not like the uh, Strom does. Okay, so there it is. And again, you know, smoky black flange can be adjusted. It's a metal flange, it's nickel silver. It's engraved with my company name and the year on the back side of all the flanges and comes in this little package. All right, next is going to be the natural grip. Okay, here's the original pen. Get this one open. Okay, natural grip is an exact replica of this pen holder, which was a pen made in Denver, Colorado. Um, Again, these are all like turn of the century, 1900s pins. All right, and the natural grip is not one that will be left yet. I'd like to mirror this, so I have a left, but I haven't done it, haven't had time yet. Okay, so it, your, you can see there's a flat surface. Thumb goes there. Your uh, middle finger goes on the back side, wherever you'd like to place it. It could be anywhere along the surface and on top. Um, let me put a nib in here real quick. Okay, and again, it will do knuckles up just fine. It will do side writing, side of your handwriting just fine as well. So there it is. You can see how it rests in your hand. Look here, it kind of cradles the shape's kind of cool. So, and you can see your index is kind of, or your middle finger is kind of wanted to go right in there where that hump is. It kind of wants you to force it there. All right, and the last in these five is going to be the skeels. Okay, um, the skeels is this pin. Um, it's very different shaped than the rest because it does force um, a grip. So, all right, the skeels, you can see, here's the shape of it. Okay. Um, and let's put a nib in it and show you. The skeels, because of where the nib is, the flange is placed and everything, does force a grip or a way to write. So your thumb's going to rest in this relieved section. Your index finger is going to be on top and your middle finger is going to be back in this little, creates a little arch. Now the thing that's different is, is if you look, if you're a side rider, this puts this pin almost completely vertical. Okay, so it's going to be near impossible to use as a if you write on the side of your hand. This was designed to keep your hand in this knuckles up position. Now, it will work if you're kind of in between, you know, flat, side. If you're in between, it does fine. And knuckles up, it's, it's forcing you to kind of bring your hand down like this instead of being up like this, which is what the design of the pin was meant for. So again, this is one that's going to have to force you to retrain your grip if you do right on the side of your hand. If you don't, you know. And it'd be one if you're wanting to go learn that knuckles up traditional grip, this will help you achieve that because you don't have the option to, <laughs> to write on the side of your hand anymore. So there's that one. So we have, it's going to be launched um, the day after this post actually. So. We've got um, Skeels, we got Natural Grip, we got Geimer, we got Ransom Marion, and we have Strom. And just to show you which ones, there's only right now two. So the only two that can be a left hand right now is the Strom, Strom and the Geimer um, because they are perfectly mirrored um, and I can make them as left hand. These three. I will be working on getting someone or myself to learn some CAD and mirror these so I can make them as a left hand in the future. But there you go. That's the uh, explanation of and, and dem demonstration of how these all are held. Um, you, one other thing you might notice is I'm not spending time sanding these. They aren't rough, but there is a small, slight texture to this pen. It's not like you'd expect with a cheap 3D print uh, because my machine does it in finer layers. But it's, 
I think it's really comfortable. It's not glossy smooth, but it provides a little bit of traction against your hand. It's not uncomfortable. Um, and you'll see in some of them, you know, there, you can see a couple of little air pockets that doesn't affect anything. There's so few in, in between. Um, that these itty bitty bubbles don't affect anything at this point, but the only reason you can see them is because it's transparent and there's actually meant to have like a structure inside. You can't see it from this direction, but there is a tiny thin structure that I, if it fills in that I created inside to make it more solid. Um, one last thing is they all are weighing right around nine grams or so, which I think is a, a, really acceptable weight it's um it's very lightweight um, compared to a lot of pens out there um, typically my pen holders are right around that nine to ten grams for a standard pen holder um, they do get lighter like five six grams is as light as a pen holder ever gets from me and you know if you get a big thick chunky ebony that's like 20 25 grams it can be that's really really heavy but um, in my opinion so the weight's great um, they're exact replicas of these old traditional pin holders and i hope everyone likes them um, should be pretty cool to uh, be the first time you can buy these pins in you know 150 years so really cool excited about it so there you have it thank you all